Good morning, everybody. Okay, I have this wonderful book that was sent to me. But first, really quick, before we do this flip through, I get a lot of comments on a lot of my videos. Can you zoom in closer? I can't see what you're doing. It's really hard for me to zoom in. My camera's above my head, usually when I'm working. So unless I'm standing up, I can't stay in focus or keep in frame, but you can zoom in. I did post a video on how to zoom in and out of YouTube videos using pretty much any of the new smartphones that are out there. Some phones you will have to rotate your phone. So take your phone if it's like this and turn it like this, and then you do this motion. On the image, on the video, just to zoom in, open, to zoom out, close. It's the same as if you were zooming in and out on a video or a photo that's on your phone. The function works the same way. You can also zoom in if you're looking at it on a computer screen. There is a zoom function on your computer. If you don't know how, Google how to. It's really easy to make your screen or image um, zoom in so you can get a closer view of what I'm doing. I will zoom in as close as possible when I'm working or showing videos. But as you see, the little space that I have here to stay in camera view, if I dare, if I zoom in too far like this, just so you know I'm standing up, now see how it moved this out of frame? I'm gonna have to constantly be up and down to keep in frame. And if I open this book, you're only gonna see this side of the book. So in order for me to show you everything, I have to zoom out just enough to get the whole image in frame for you. I wanna make sure that everybody enjoys the video, so. I will try to zoom in as far as I can, like I said, so you can get a better view for those of you who are struggling with that feature. But really watch that quick little 40 second video. He does an amazing job explaining how to zoom in and out while watching YouTube videos. And it works best if you just download the YouTube app. It's free, you don't have to pay for it, and you can still subscribe to people's channels for free. There's no strings attached. Okay, moving on. I wanted to get that out of the way though. Okay, Madalena uh, Tenteranau. Ten, ten, ah. You know I can't pronounce foreign languages very well. Anyways, research Italian. Asmalen und Espanian. So this is by Colorful World. It's a top book. This was sent to me which I was really surprised because it was on my list. There's a U, um, there's one of these and it's a USA one. I would love to get my paws on that, but these books are not available to me here in the US. So unless somebody sends them to me or gifts them to me to do a review, I don't get it to normally see them. Okay, I thought this was a really cute book. It's a little bit about the artist here. And the first few pages, I'm going to open up this spine. The first few pages, of course, you can color them in, but it's um, material. She's got colored pencils. I'm not sure what that says there. But this gives you the um, some tips and medium options and a little bit of a how-to, which is nice that they do that. And you've got some color wheels here. Again, a few more pages on that. Which is great that they put these little tips in there, especially for people who are still learning, which I'm always still learning, so I like to see that stuff. Okay, we're gonna get into some of the images here. Now, I've noticed in these books that are by Top, T-O-P-P, -P, the paper is pretty decent usually. It's not super heavy, but it's not paper thin either. So, each page, 
Some of them have a little story here off to the left and I did not translate them, but you can do that if you like. Now this image is really detailed, but you'll notice some of the other images are not so detailed. So you can pick and choose what you like to create or color, so to say, but they are beautifully done. The line art is great. The theme is fitting to the title. Looks like maybe the Italian village or countryside. Some beautiful flowers. And there's quite a few in this series that I, I had to Google and look and see what's available out there for this series. The USA one with the Statue of Liberty, I really want to get my mittens on that. Looks like some vegetables. Or, or is it a pizza, it says. I can read that. The Colosseum. And am I the only one that's noticed a lot of the books coming out have a lemons in them? I'm sensing a theme this year with lemons. Don't know. Maybe that's just me. I just happen to notice the lemons. You got the gelateria. That's what it says. Now, because it's Italy, I'm guessing these are olives. Oh, it says olives. See? Learn something new. Gelato. That looks inviting. The Vatican. So as you see here, this one is, there's a lot of details on this page, whereas others, they were not so detailed. This is more a, a mandala style page. Cappuccino cake. The little kitties down here. Some lights going across. The desserts page, it says tiramisu. But these aren't all tiramisu. So you got ice cream. Looks like you got some tarts. The carousel. I think that's in Florence, Italy. Correct me if I'm wrong. The nice butterfly there. Some ice cream cones, different fruits and flavors. Wow, look at that beautiful castle with some tables and chairs. A lot of kitty cats in this book. The Vespa. I've seen a lot of those recently featured in um, some of the newer books that are being released. More kitty cats, see? It's like the boats and the, the water there. Pasta. Again, pretty decent paper. You can hear it. I feel tooth, a little bit of tooth on the paper too. So that's really a good, good sign. I don't see why you couldn't use some wet mediums in this, but again, you'll want to use a backing paper just to prevent any potential for bleed through there. Definitely colored pencils and gel pens. Your Posca will work on this. It's like some seashells. 
another little village view. Some more desserts and drinks, it looks like. Maybe coffee drinks or cafe drinks. Looks like the, the walkway going over the water with the boats. Little country drive, maybe at night because the moon and the stars are out. It looks like the kitty cat in the passenger seat. Or is that the driver's seat? Because don't they, in the driver's side, reversed over there? This beautiful shoe with the flowers. It's like shoe art. Leaning Tower of Pisa. And this one, this page is really detailed. My eyes went like this. That is a picture that would have to be thought out and patiently done. And an image of the village in Italy or a city. You got a little Fiat. It says Fiat right on the front. Looks like Bologna. Looks like some more lemon trees and a teapot. We're getting towards the end now. Little coastal village. A masquerade mask. I've seen a lot of that lately too. Okay. And the end of the book here. And it says the cover was done by um, Eva Hook, but the illustrative artist is Madalena Tanteranau. So, beautiful book printed in 2024. There is the front cover again, if you want to take a peek. So, if you would like to get your hands on this book, I will provide a link to wherever I find this book available. I'm guessing it's probably going to be Amazon UK since um, I never see these on Amazon US. None of the top books. Maybe one or two, honestly, rarely I'll see one, but I haven't seen these on there. Do check Amazon Global Shop, though, if you're in the U.S., and see if you can get them through Amazon Global because sometimes you'll get free shipping that way. I also know Blackwell's ships to the U.S. for free, so that's another place you can buy um, different books that aren't readily available here to U.S. people. Anyways, happy creating. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I look forward to maybe getting some more of this series and seeing what they have to offer as far as images. Thank you very much, and you guys have a wonderful day.